What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including the real reason why Gunther is missing a PLE in 2024, CM Punk expected to be back in WWE, Will Ospreay teases WWE debut, WWE fans unhappy, a WWE dream match on the horizon, Logan Paul hits back at haters, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new website, WrestleAmia.com. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at the real reason why Gunther is missing a PLE in 2024. Our top story today takes a look at a recent interview with Intercontinental Champion Gunther, and in the interview the decorated star finally revealed why he hasn't been featured on a certain international premium live event. Gunther is in the midst of an epic and legendary title reign as IC Champion, and he's had a claim match after a claim match, but there has been one certain criticism directed towards his booking, and that is absence from premium live events. Gunther has been absent from the past three shows, and with the Crown Jewel event being a huge show for WWE, fans expected Gunther to defend his title there. Thankfully, we now finally know why Gunther hasn't been featured on WWE PLEs, and this was revealed during an interview he took part in with Crone. In the interview, the Ring General revealed that due to strict resident regulations, he's not able to leave the United States for the next six months. Unfortunately, this means that Gunther will be missing the Elimination Chamber event in February, which is set to take place in Australia. This is a huge blow for WWE as Gunther is without question one of their top stars and it'll be interesting to see if this news impacts how WWE present Gunther moving forward. They're continuing to deliver international PLEs into 2024 and if Gunther isn't permitted to perform at them, does this mean that WWE may make him drop the Intercontinental title? Additionally, Gunther was a firm favorite to win the Royal Rumble in January and naturally if Gunther potentially wins the world title at WrestleMania and this residency issue continues, he will be unable to attend international shows as WWE's top champion. As always, we'll keep you posted when it comes to developments on Gunther's residency issue and we certainly hope the talented star gets the issue sorted sooner rather than later. Next up, there's a feeling that Punk will be back in WWE. Now is CM Punk coming back or not? Well that's a million dollar question that everyone is asking and even though there has been reports about him not wanting to come back or WWE turning him down, we simply will have to wait until Survivor Series. However, despite numerous reports from reputable sources that Punk is in WWE bound, BWE has taken to Twitter to state, Punk was recently scheduled for a call with few board members. Backstage feeling is it's happening. Doesn't mean it's done, I'm waiting for the follow up on a call. It should be the last step before things go down. If this is indeed the case, then this changes everything and Punk being scheduled for a call with WWE board members is surely a positive sign that Punk is returning to the company. As always, we'll keep you posted on any updates when it comes to the former WWE and AEW world champion. Would you guys want Punk to come back at Survivor Series? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Will Ospreay teases his WWE debut. With Will Ospreay reportedly becoming a free agent in early 2024, there is rampant speculation that he could be WWE bound and after last night, this speculation got taken to the next level. After Seth Rollins' successful title defense over Drew McIntyre at Crown Jewel, he took to Twitter to quote tweet WWE's announcement of Rollins' victory and Ospreay simply tweeted out an eye emoji as a response. And in an unexpected move, world champion Rollins responded to Ospreay by tweeting, The water is warm. Certain fans on social media are now convinced that Osprey will be heading to WWE in 2024. A feud with Rollins has been a dream feud for some time now and it will be fascinating to see how Osprey is booked under Triple H. One idea that has been thrown around on social media is that the idea of Osprey possibly debuting at the Royal Rumble in a similar manner to how AJ Styles made his WWE debut way back in 2016. However, it's believed that Osprey's contract doesn't end until February of 2024, meaning that unless WWE and New Japan Pro Wrestling worked out a special deal, this wouldn't be permitted to happen. Nevertheless, with Osprey's contract ending in February, this does leave appropriate time for him to debut and have a match at WrestleMania 40, which would be an appropriate place for one of the best wrestlers in the world to have his first premium live event match for WWE. Would you guys want Will Ospreay in WWE? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, how much did WWE actually earn from Crown Jewel? The 2023 Crown Jewel event is officially in the books and it's been revealed just how much WWE made from the anticipated event. According to Brandon Thurston from WrestleNomics, WWE were paid over $50 million for Crown Jewel yesterday, which is the equivalent of three WrestleManias worth of ticket sales. 
WWE and Saudi Arabia's big business and we're only halfway through what is confirmed to be a 10 year deal. The early Saudi events were heavily criticized as they were presented as novelty shows and featured bizarre and unwanted matches such as Shawn Michaels coming out of retirement and Goldberg vs The Undertaker. Thankfully, since Triple H took over WWE Creative, this has changed and the Saudi shows are firmly integrated into WWE programming. Next up, WWE fans unhappy? In a bold move, WWE decided to host a live event in Rochester, New York yesterday and due to WWE hosting Crown Jewel on the same day, they had a very limited roster for the show and this led to fans in attendance criticizing the show for a lack of star power. One fan who was in attendance at the show tweeted, So because of today's WWE Crown Jewel event, fans at Rochester were not happy due to the match card for tonight's live event. Ricochet closed the event kind of apologizing to fans that he said he's not a mega superstar like the ones in CJ but he's thankful for the ones who cheered for him. WWE are also hosting another live event today in Springfield, Massachusetts and it's expected that WWE will use the same card and talent as yesterday. Next up, a WWE dream match on the horizon. The Maverick Logan Paul won his first singles title in WWE yesterday as he defeated the legendary Rey Mysterio to become US Champion. In a unique move immediately following Logan's victory, he delivered several virtual media interviews to promote his win and Logan was asked about the possibility of facing Bad Bunny down the line. While speaking to ESPN, Logan stated, I'm gonna leave that up to Triple H, but I will say one thing, Mr. Bunny don't want this smoke. I'm a maverick, we eat bunnies for breakfast. I don't know him personally, I do listen to his music. He's excellent, excellent musician. Hey, that's what he does. He's good, but he's scrawny. I'm pushing 250. That is a crazy thing in WWE 2K23, he has the same rating as me. Maybe I don't know anything, maybe we are the same. Maybe let's settle this in the ring. Obviously, this would be a significant match for WWE to book. These are two of the biggest celebs in the world and the best thing about the possibility of the match is that fans would embrace it. Logan and Bunny have without question brought their love and passion for pro wrestling in their WWE work and when they're in the mix, they work just as hard as anyone on the full-time roster. Would you guys be interested in seeing Logan Paul vs Bad Bunny? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Logan Paul hits back at haters. Speaking of Logan Paul, whilst the majority of fans see Logan winning the title as a positive move, some question if Logan deserves to have a singles title just a few matches into his run. Logan has since responded to these comments in a brilliant promo uploaded to WWE's digital platforms and in the promo, the Maverick says, Been seeing a lot of y'all saying I'm spoon fed and this title was given to me. I haven't earned it. I'm from Cleveland. Everything is earned. Nothing is given. I work harder than you simple minds can even comprehend. I do more in 12 hours than you do in 12 months. My blueprint cannot be duplicated. My pace is unmatched. I'm not playing the same game as y'all. I've beaten the Matrix. I am the architect. Mark my words, the WWE Universe is my universe. And this belt is just the beginning of that. Watch what I can do. Do you think Logan Paul deserves the US title? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Logan Paul staying part time. Now, there was concern that Logan was going to disappear for a few months as he isn't on a full time contract. This would have been brutal for the SmackDown product as it's expected that the undisputed champion Roman Reigns is going to be absent for the rest of 2023. But in a nice twist however, Logan acknowledges in an ESPN interview that he will need to be around more as US champion. I think you have to. I'm going to have to watch Raw. You're going to have to watch SmackDown. I'm going to make some surprise appearances. And finally, should AEW book Sting vs Ric Flair? Our final story today takes a look at a recent edition of Booker T's Hall of Fame podcast and Booker believes it would be a smart idea for AEW to book Sting vs Flair. Flair officially signed with AEW a number of days ago and based on the number of interviews, Flair isn't ruling out the possibility of stepping into the ring for one more match. Booker mentioned, you know what, I think that might be the perfect send off, let's do it. I mean Ric Flair, Sting, you know one for all time's sake, let's go out there and do it just one last time. Let's walk that aisle one last time, let's style and profile, woo, one more time. Limousine riding, jet flying, woo son of a gun. If that was to happen, just like Ric Flair's last match, I think I had eight or 9,000 people that showed up. If Ric Flair and Sting stepped into the ring one more time, they may have 20,000 people. 20,000 might want to come out and witness that spectacle just one more time. Just one more time, Ric Flair makes that walk down the aisle. Just one more time with a Stinger. One more time. Not just the Crow Sting. I think if you're going to do it, you have to go back to the old Sting, Surfer Sting. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.